Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Giggity, real name is Mark, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the top 10 best rally cars in GTA Online. And before you think to yourself, oh, yeah, that's right, there's a rally r racing version in GTA Online. That must be what he's talking about. No, uh, rally in GTA Online is pretty much just regular racing, but you, you don't get to see the checkpoints if you're driving, and you have a passenger who tells you where the checkpoints are. It's, it is technically kind of similar to rally racing, but not really. What I mean by rally cars is just cars that give off like these cars are good off-road vibes not in again it's not even like these cars are actually the best cars for off-road racing or anything like that and that's not what i'm saying a lot of these cars are from sports class sports classics class even tuners class whatever it's just cars that give off that vibe it's cars that you want to drive off-road even if they're not the best off-road because it just, they just feel like good off-road cars you build them to be an off-road car and then you have fun driving them off-road so don't take this list too seriously is what i'm trying to say though it's just cars that i think if you're trying to build like a rally car garage these are the cars you might include without further ado let's get right into it with number 10 and that honor goes to the vagrant i have said it before in the past i'm going to say it again i think the vagrant is very overrated i don't like this car really at all but i can't lie it is a good option if you're trying to build like a rally car garage because it's freaking based off of an aerial nomad like aerial nomads are rally monsters they're pretty much an aerial atom but rallyified so obviously if you want to build a rally garage and you want to build some rally cars this is a good option for you and i won't sit here and lie to you i'm not a liar do you take me for a liar look at my nose it's normal length it is not extended in any way whatsoever. I'm not lying. I ain't capping. There ain't a part of me that's capping. So, yes, I don't like how it looks, but it is a good car for off-road capabilities as well. And it's one of the only vehicles on this list that are actually in the off-roads class too. So you actually will get a chance to use this in off-road racing, which is pretty much the equivalent of rally racing in, in a GTA Online. So there you go. Coming in at ninth place, however, is going to the Nebula turbo the nebula turbo obviously <laughs> duh is based off of the volvo 240 turbo okay or 242 turbo whatever you want to call it which in real life is one of the most like freaking one of the most uh what's the i, I for some reason dude today i have been my words have just been so all over the place i can never think of the word that i want to say the, the volvo 240 in real life is very um universal it, it, you can use it in different things is what i'm trying to say like you can turn it into a drift car you can turn it into a race car or you can turn it into a rally car which is what a lot of people do with the volvo 240 so obviously since it's based off of a volvo 240 you take this nebula turbo and you turn it into a rally car and now you have a rally volvo 240 you can again take your nebula turbo and do whatever you want with it man if you want to stance it go right ahead i'm not going to hate you for it they look good stanced in this game but i think they also look good as a rally car ace place is going to a bit of an odd one because most of these cars on this list are cars that in real life are rally cars and so that's why it, it feels good to build them into rally cars in this game because it feels like real life etc etc but the Sylvestra is not that case the Sylvestra is based off of a Mazda RX-3 and in real life the Mazda RX-3 wasn't a rally car i mean i'm sure they used it here and there they've used but just about everything they, they literally used rolls royces back in the day as rally cars okay so they've used absolutely everything i would be i wouldn't be surprised if you're at a freaking rally event and you see a mac truck driving down at the rally course they, they use everything but it's not like a primarily rally car is what i'm trying to say but in this game it just feels right as a rally car it, the customization for it makes it look like a rally car it has tons of rally inspired liveries on it and everything like that it just feels right it's a tiny little what looks like a european car Car, although it's not it's a jdm car but what looks like a european car that you might want it looks like kind of like a ford escort or something like that you know but coming in at seventh place however is very rally inspired the michelli gt michelli gt is so slept on this thing might as well be called a freaking bobo pedic because this bad boy is slept on the michelli gt is based off of the alfa romeo gta and in real life, that thing was a rally monster, obviously. It was also just a racing monster in general, though. Let's get let's let's get real for a minute here, partner. But in this game, you can have all these freaking Alfa Romeo liveries on it to make it look even more like a rally car. You can put the tape on the headlights. You can put a freaking tire on the roof. You can make it look like a rally raider. This thing is a freaking Fortnite skin of a rally car. It's so rallied up. But it, it really is just really good. It's also really tiny, which is useful in rally racing in real life, but also in GTA, because if you're driving in these... Uh, uh, roads and stuff like that you can cut corners and not have to worry too much because the wheels the since the wheelbase is so short one wheel will almost always at least be on the road while the other one is dipped into a ditch or something like that and that's okay coming in at sixth place is obvious i mean it literally says it in the name dsc rally uh yeah yeah man 
Uh, I was thinking, by the way, of putting the Issy Classic on this list. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a twofer because I did not put the Issy Classic on this list. It's not spoiler alert. It's not on this list because I thought the Issy Rally would be a better one. And I've talked about the Issy Classic before in the past, but I feel like I've never even talked about the Issy Rally like once in any of my videos. So I felt like I just wanted to talk about it today. And since it does literally say Rally in the name, it feels better. It's obviously based off of a Mini Countryman, which is honestly kind of surprising like yes i get that they use the countryman in real life rally racing sometimes but i feel like rally cars need to be tiny whereas the countryman is kind of actually a big vehicle and so it kind of feels a little bit weird whenever i see them but it does fit the role well it's an suv in this game so it's you know not the fastest or anything like that but it, it does fit the rally type really really well Fifth place, however, is based off of one of the most iconic rally cars of all time, the Sultan RS Classic, which is based off of the Subaru 22B STI. That thing is, in, if you don't know, a JDM legend, and it's a JDM legend because of its rally history. These things, there was only like 500 of them built or something, but they were freaking Group B monsters. These things were beasts, and the Sultan RS Classic is exactly the same way, and it makes me sad because I feel like people have forgotten that in GTA Online, and when they customize their sultan rs classics they always customize them for like stance builds or stuff like that and it's like come on man give us give us some give us some rally inspired sultan rs classics and also if you do do a rally inspired sultan rs classic try to not make it exactly like the real life version i know that it's hard because everybody wants to make it look like the you know blue subaru with the gold wheels and all the gold like stars and, and stuff like that on the side of it like the real life version does but try to make it different like try to make it look like a different rally car and you'd be surprised these things can look freaking sick Oh, also, I forgot to mention before when talking about the Sultan RS Classic that it's also really fast, <laughs> even off-road. Uh, some of these cars, even though they're like rally cars and stuff like that, like in, in my opinion, they're rally cars at least, they're not that, that quick or anything like that, so it's actually not too, too fun to drive them off-road, but the Sultan RS Classic is an exception. Either way, fourth place is the Comet Safari. Obviously, this vehicle is going to make the list. It says Safari in the freaking name. Uh, rally racing is, I know, is not the same as Safari racing and like Dunes racing, or whatever they call it, Baja racing, whatever you want to call it, which is probably what, what they were trying to go for with the Comet Safari. But since there's not like that kind of racing really in GTA, it fits into the role of Rally a whole lot better. The Comet Safari in its regular class, the sports class, is an absolute useless car to use. It sucks. It's not fun. Its camera angle is really weird. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed, like, besides, uh, there have been people that notice it, which is what made me notice it. But, like, I feel like people don't talk about it enough. Um, so it's, it's, it's not good for sports car racing is what I'm trying to say. But you take it off road and you see what they were going for with this thing. It's a lot of fun. Third place partner, third place Patton is an obvious one. The Retinue Mark II. The Retinue and the Retinue Mark II are both really good options. I put the Mark II here because I think the Mark II is just slightly cooler, slightly cooler. Sorry, Escort Mark I fans, but I think the second gen is slightly cooler. It just fits slightly better. But either way, yeah, they're based off of Ford Escorts. And Ford Escorts, in case you don't know, were rally beast. They still are. You see any freaking rally car crash compilation video on YouTube, you watch that bad boy and you will see at least two Ford Escorts. There's going to be a lot of them. There's going to be a lot of them. I said two to cover my tracks because I don't want somebody to watch it and be like, oh, there's three. And I accidentally said five or something and then I was wrong. So I'm just saying two just to cover my tracks. But they're over there. They're all over the place, man. Escorts are rally monsters. And in this game, they have liveries to support it. They have wide body kits to support it. They look like rally cars. They're clearly meant to look like rally cars in the game. Build it up to look like one and take it off road and you'll see what they were going for. Again, it's another sports classics car where it doesn't really compete with the top of the class until you start to take it off road. Then you see what they were trying to do. And second place is another perfect example of that. I feel like people get so caught up on if cars in GTA Online are just like the fastest in a straight line or the best around a track when they're racing and that they don't pay attention to other things like off-road capabilities like the monstrosity did. Like not every, what I'm trying to say is not every car has to be the fastest in its class. Okay, not every car does. There are cars that are just better for different things and cars that are more fun to drive around for different things. And if you're going for rally racing, the monstrosity is a fun SUV for it. Yes, it's in the SUVs class, by the way. It's based off of a Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution, which is such a cool car for them to add, by the way. It's so slept on in real life. The fact that they added this thing was mind blowing. I was like, wow, is Rockstar actually based? Question mark. Do they actually like have culture and know about the JDM lifestyle? Because this is not a car even most JDM fans know about. So like when they added it, I was so surprised. Such a cool car. But like I said, yeah, it's not the fastest in the freaking SUVs class or anything like that. But it doesn't have to be. You know, it's not the point in buying some GTA cars. Just saying. The honorable mention for today 
and the reason why it's an honorable mention is is sad is the la corios i don't know if i pronounced that correctly and i'm not even going to try to pronounce it again but this thing is supposed to be based off of like a renault Ma maxi turbo 5 freaking concept thing like a weird electric version of it which kind of sucks and since it's so low to the ground in this game it doesn't really rally that well like it should have been a little bit lifted i feel like a little bit higher off the ground but since it is such a goaded car in real life i will put it here as an honorable mention but i didn't want to put it on the real list because like i said it's kind of a little disappointing man like an ev lowered aggressive looking turbo maxi 5 eh. but first place if you know me, you knew it was going to be here because I freaking love this car in GTA Online. They did so good with it. It's the GB200. The GB200 is based off of the Ford RS200 in real life. Obviously. Okay, we all know that. We know that. It's a good car, right? The Ford RS200 in real life is not one of my favorite rally cars. I mean, it's great. Don't get me wrong. It's, 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 a, it's a really cool car, but it's not like one of my favorites. But in this game, they modeled it perfectly, man. It looks so much like the real life version while also still having that GTA charm that it works so well. It's in the sports class. And it, it, again, performance wise, it's right in the middle of the sports class. If you're racing it like on road, it's not like super special or anything. But again, you take this thing off road and you see why it's so much fun. You see what the point is of it. It's such a slept on vehicle, man. It's so cool so fun i i don't know how people don't have gb 200s and how they don't i drive these things to the freaking casino to do my spins every day because i love them i love them so much they're so much fun to drive and they look so freaking good the ford r is 200 such a goaded car and their iteration of it is just as goaded if not even a little bit better i said it but ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video of the top 10 best rally cars in GTA Online. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, uh, like I said in the beginning, but I'm going to make it clear again now just because there are going to be people that don't like to listen. This is not like a sub like a subjective list or objective li no subjective yeah subjective is the right one i think there it's not like a subjective list where it's like yeah these are the best rally cars because there's no real like rally class you know there's no actual rally racing so there's no way to determine what is actually the best rally car there it's just a fun video of cars that i think people should buy if they enjoy like driving fast on the dirt roads of gta which by the way if you don't do that you should try it it's actually a lot more fun than you would think man some of the dirt roads have a lot of twists and turns and are really technical so give it a shot give it a shot but yeah that's, that's all i'm saying and again i said it multiple times in the video but i want to say it one more time not every car has to be the fastest in gta online for it to be cool and worth buying i think there are a lot of cars where they're strictly there just for like the cool aspect of it and just for like what it stands for things like the Bl blista kanjo sj you're never gonna do a freaking compacts race okay even if it was the fastest car in that class which it's not but even if it was it still wouldn't make it worth it because you're never gonna actually use it in a compacts race because no one does compacts races they're just cars that are there to be cool all right and they're there to like fit people's holes that they not that sounded wild but do you know what i'm trying to say fit that void of uh jdm cars or rally cars in this instance uh in gta online but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it das and have a nice night